All right, today's daily practice drawing is a molder knife from the 1946 textbook we've been working from. Uh, I'll have uh, information in the description down below. And as always, I will be calling out my uh, shortcut keys if you want to draw along. So uh, let's start in, as usual, by blocking in the general shape. So R for rectangle. And we have five and a half inches long and two and a half inches wide. So 5.5 .5, comma, 2.5 All right, P to push pull and we're going up three quarters of an inch 0.75 enter All right, I'm going to triple click and just rotate it around Q to rotate M to move All right, just so we're in a similar orientation. So this first cut right here looks pretty self-explanatory. We have 60 degrees. So I'm going to shift Q to bring up the protractor. Just go over 60 degrees. Except I need to come up from the bottom. So from here to here, 60 degrees. All right, L for the line tool. P to push pull. All right, so now let's spin around here to get this angle in over here. So I'm gonna R for a rectangle. Right arrow key to lock on to the green axes, and basically I'm gonna make a cutter here. So I'll make it bigger than what I need just to make sure I have enough room. All right, and triple click. and then we got to swing it in 60 degrees 60 degrees so spin back around here so that way I got from here over is 60 degrees so from here over is 60 degrees and then to get our 49 degree cut section basically I need to tip this 49 degrees so I'm gonna go here till I snap to that line and then I'm gonna click and drag along the line so that way I'm rotating this direction now so I'm going to grab it by the edge and I'm going to tip down 49 degrees, enter. All right. So uh, control copy, I'm going to delete it. Triple click to enter into the component. Control shift V to paste in place. I'll hold down my shift key, triple click to select everything, right click. Uh, intersect faces with selection. All right, now I'm going to delete uh, this guy. Delete these loose ends. Delete that. Delete that. All right, so right click, reverse faces. All right, so there we are so far. All right, so the last thing we need to do is uh, this uh, groove here with this radius. All right, so we're 15 16 over, so I'm going to hit T for my guide tool. I'm going to go 15 16 and then it's 11 16 inches wide. So 11 16 All right, and then so let's just to make it easier, I'm going to transfer my guide tools across the length, across the top there. And we're 1 and 23 30 seconds inches in. 1 and 23 30 seconds. All right, and so then we're rounded over there. So I'm going to hit L for my line tool. I'm just gonna go from point to point to find my center. So T, snap to the center, uh, Q, and I'm just gonna spin this around, control to make a copy of it. Okay, so now C for circle. All right, and then I'm gonna M to move, control to make a copy. 
So this is, uh, no, what am I doing? Control Z, I wanna move this guy down into move so that way we cut this section away delete 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 these extra parts we don't need L for the line tool all right so now I've drawn this on the outside of my component so I'm just gonna um, select it all by triple clicking control copy Delete, double click to enter the component. Control Shift V to paste in place. P to push pull. And cut it out. Grab my E. Uh, control to toggle on soften and smooth. All right. Control D to delete all my guides. All right, there we go. We'll throw in some measurements real quick. Make sure we got it right here. All right, there we go. It was a little bit more trickier than uh, it appeared to be with this weird angle on the end.